Hello, this is Dr. Benjamin Norris from the Chemistry Department of Frostburg State University. In this video, I'm going to go over some ways to synthesize uh, means by the reduction of other functional groups. Uh, this is the third video in a sequence I've done on amine synthesis, and we've all framed it kind of around synthesizing primary amines. But as this video goes on, I'll talk about other ways to synthesize amines, uh, some of which I already have recorded separate videos on. So this is going to be an overview of some of those techniques. But first, I'm going to introduce uh, a new way that I haven't recorded a video on before. Okay. And so this method is going to be framed around making a primary amine from an alkyl halide. And we've already seen that direct alkylation of ammonia is not a good choice because the primary amine is more reactive. I also showed you in a previous video the Gabriel amine synthesis, which is a way around this particular uh, situation. But now I'm going to show you a third way, one that uses uh, an azide, which uh, we'll look at the structure of that ion here in a moment. And then the azide functional group can be reduced, and it's this reduction that is the it is the, the connective tissue between everything we're doing here. That azide functional group can be reduced to a primary amine. So let's walk through this. I'm going to draw the mechanism uh, of these two reactions because they're fairly straightforward. Azide is, is giving me some difficulties in, in drawing it, so I apologize. The azide anion is this anion, um, which has some additional resonance structures, but we're going to just look at this one. Um, kind of, it's the one with the, the, the least egregious formal charge difficulties. And it's a good nucleophile. We've got a nitrogen atom, it's got a negative charge on it, it's got lone pairs. So it's a good nucleophile and it can displace that chlorine atom in an SN2 fashion. And now we have this azide functional group here. And once it's attached to uh, the organic structure, it's neutral overall. Oh, but it still has some formal charges in it. Um, and again, there are some resonance structures to this as well. But this one kind of, again, minimizes the formal charge distribution. Right. And then this azide group can be reduced by lithium aluminum hydride. Perhaps you remember that lithium aluminum hydride is kind of our reduces everything functional, or produces all functional groups, hydride reducing agent. And, you, and lithium aluminum hydride is a nucleophile, and you might be tempted to draw lithium aluminum hydride attacking at the positively charged nitrogen, but that's actually not where this compound is most nuclear, or most electrophilic. Um, and so you, you get this initial intermediate, and then this intermediate undergoes uh, or fragments, falls apart, if you will, and the amine part of this structure comes off as a leaving group. Something similar happens in the Wolf Kishner reduction of hydrozones. In, there's a video out there on that if you want to go look at it. And as this uh, fragmentation happens, we get the anion of the amine, but we also get a molecule of nitrogen N2. With that NN triple bond, which is one of the strongest covalent bonds out there. So it's the formation of that molecule of nitrogen that provides a thermodynamic driving force. And then once that step is done, we can neutralize it with water. And we will get our primary amine. Okay. Yep. 
It's also worth noting that azides can be reduced by other conditions. The mechanism will not be the same, but we can reduce these azides into primary amines using catalytic hydrogenation. So let me just uh, get that on here. Azide on here. So we can use catalytic hydrogenation, for example, with hydrogen gas. Well, you need hydrogen gas and a metal catalyst like platinum or palladium. This process also produces uh, a molecule of nitrogen. Um, and we have to be careful in these reactions because depending on the scale and the size of the reaction vessel, they can build up pressure in a dangerous way. So this is one example of a reaction I haven't covered in, in any of my videos up to this point, but it's not the only example of reduction reactions that can be used to synthesize means. And so here are just, at the end of the video, several examples of other reductions that can be used to synthesize amines. So one that I have covered before is the reduction of nitrobenzene. Nitrobenzene can be reduced by a wide range of reducing agents, so I'm not going to list all of them. Um, but one that exists are, are the use of certain metals and hydrochloric acid, so iron, zinc, tin, uh, work here. Uh, catalytic hydrogenation also works here. Another reduction that we can use is the reduction of the nitrile functional group. The nitrile functional group, again, can be reduced by lithium aluminum hydride. To make a primary amine. And I've covered uh, this reaction and its mechanism in another video, so you're not going to hear any more uh, from me about this reaction. Uh, another functional group that can be reduced to an amine is the amide functional group. But what's really interesting about reducing the amide is because the amide can have other functional groups present. Which means, depending on the structure of the amide, we can create secondary and tertiary amines by reducing the amide. And then the final reaction that I want to tell you about, and I'm, I'm running out of some space here, so let's, um, let's grab, let's make some more space. There we go. All right, and the final reaction I want to tell you about is reductive amination, where you can reduce imines. And again, depending on the structure of the imine, uh, you can end up with a, a primary, secondary, or even tertiary amine. Um, and there is also a procedure for making or for combining the reaction to form an imine with a catalyt or with a hydride transfer reduction. So you can do this reductive amination in one step from the carbonyl compound. And that's all in another video as well. But I wanted to remind you of these four functional groups, in addition to the azide, that can be reduced to make amines. Thank you for watching.